Yay! Okay, for several weeks, for some reason, my camcord was working. And when I push the button to record directly from my computer onto YouTube, it wasn't working. And now it is. So I guess they fixed it or... I don't know what happened. But anyway, it's working now. So I can do videos directly from my camcorder onto YouTube again. So what I'm grateful for today is uh, on Wednesday, I was saying my prayers and my affirmation and meditating. Because some other situations that I thought were about to turn around drastically didn't come to fruition as I had thought, but I was very certain that they would. But they went in a different direction. And instead of getting negative and depressed and sad about it, I decided to remember that God is my supply. And I said that for the entire day. That God is my supply. God is my protector. God is my healer. God is my everything. God is the source of everything. God. That cosmic energizes. The healing energy comes with that. It's all within you. I always thought it was somewhere on the outside because that's what I was taught. And I went to everything on the outside. You know, doctors, teachers, everybody knows something. Everybody on the outside. They are it. And the Bible says, you know, talks about having idols and without knowing it. In my opinion, I feel like I made idols out of those people. Who I thought knew things when God is within me, and the way for me to stop making idols out of those people, places, and things was to believe in myself, to believe in the God that's within me. And I did yesterday. I didn't get down, I didn't get depressed, but I mean, this was some news that was going to change something huge in our situation and it didn't happen and I didn't get depressed about it, scared, or anything because I know, I knew and I know that God is my support and that happened on Wednesday. Now had the circumstances turned out the way I had envisioned them, it would have been fantastic but guess what? God is my supply, not man, not places, persons, or things, or objects, but God. I didn't get down or sad or depressed, I know I said that, but I have to, re this is a journey for me, and this is my video journal to myself to remember these things and not to forget. So people say you should do a journal and write everything down. Well, there's no damage in my hand, so I can't write everything down. So I'm doing this video journal for myself to remember the successes that I'm experiencing in my life. So I do that. Forget so that I'll always remember and that I'll always be grateful to God for the successes that I'm experiencing on a daily basis in my life. And even though I was hoping for one circumstance to turn out a certain way, even the fact, even though it's the fact remained that it didn't, the fact remained that I didn't allow it to change my mood and make me feel down or depressed. That's huge for me. You know, it's like when you don't get picked for a team or something, and people feel sad or depressed. No, because life isn't over because of that. You go on. Hey, maybe that just wasn't the right team for me. Maybe a better opportunity is coming along. Because God is the source of your supply of all of the good that is coming to your life. So if you don't get one thing, maybe you get another. Don't get one job, maybe you get another job. Okay? Maybe the plan comes together. So if you set the goal of being successful, doesn't matter how you become successful. Maybe you become successful being a basketball player. Maybe you become successful by being, by being a teacher. Maybe you become successful being a, by being a mom and a wife. Or a writer, an author. Who knows? 
But the goal is the goal to be successful. It doesn't really matter how you become successful. It's the goal is that you do. And that you, that you, yeah, that you're successful in whatever it is that you wind up doing. So, you don't have to be mad if it doesn't turn out a certain way. As long as that the end result is that the goal happens. That you're successful, you're healthy, wealthy, happy, loved. Right? So, after I successfully dealt with the challenge of not having come to fruition what I had hoped, yesterday I get in the mail a surprise, basically, of money, you know, that I wasn't expecting, but I feel it happened because I remembered and prayed and thanked God that God is my source. But God is the source of my supply, of the love, of my good health. And up until July 12th, there was a huge block in my subconscious because I was thinking negatively and always remembering my childhood past and things and thinking negatively and being ungrateful, not finding anything in my past to be grateful about, which I no longer do. So I succeeded in that and removed that blockage from all kinds of positive energy is flowing in. So, this is what I'm grateful for today. So I see energy, negative black things are going to move. Positive things are flowing in. I am in control because I know who God is. I am. God is within me, and I'm succeeding in my life. I've had other successes in my life along the way, but were external, external success. You know, like going to college or getting married or buying a house, cars, those external things. And now I'm succeeding from the inside, feeling happy. Being in control of my happiness, knowing and realizing that my happiness starts within me and doesn't come from on the outside. And this is what I'm grateful for today. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If you're here, thumbs up. Thank you. If you want to leave a video response, if you have some positive commentary to contribute to my channel, please do so. Thank you. Bye bye for now.